Thank you for clicking through to this video. This is part 1 of 12 on possible reasons why a two-stroke engine may bog down. I've already uploaded the full video of the 12 reasons, but I've broke them down here to make it a little easier. And therefore, the mixture screws are my number one. I'll check these before I check anything else. This is the high and low screws, the fuel-air mixture screws on the side of the carburettor. The H of course means high for the engine's high speed adjustments and the L means low for the engine's low speed adjustments. Now I have got videos on this channel explaining how to adjust the high and low screw and how they are used to tune in the engine itself. So I won't go back into that in too much detail now because that's a video in itself. Instead I'll keep it to how these screws can relate to bogging down of the engine. Starting with the H screw or the high screw, we can see the screw head there, the adjustment head, and then the actual screw itself we can see goes into the carburettor. It then protrudes into the high jet where the fuel comes from above in the metering area. And if you could see that point there, the end of the screw actually protruding into the jet itself and blocking off part of the fuel. So because of the screw's restriction, there's less fuel here below the screw than there is above it. So if we turn this screw in even more, we'll restrict the fuel even more. And if we turn the screw out, we'll let more fuel down. And in a nutshell, that's all the high screw's for. It's to put in a metered amount of fuel, which ultimately ends up in this area of the carburetor, the inlet area, and is then drawn into the engine for combustion. And the L screw, or the low screw, works in pretty much the same way. Other than that, its design is to meter the amount of fuel for the low revs. So in the same sort of way, the low screw protrudes into the low jet where the fuel is restricted below the screw itself. And the screw can be turned in and out to meter the amount of fuel as required. Now I've briefly explained what they do, I can better explain now how problems with mixture screws can cause bogging down. Usually, but not always, any problems with mixture screws and bogging down is due to incorrect settings. Now if the mixture screws are set correctly, we'll have a good ratio of air to fuel in the inlet there. The fuel there is shown as red dots and the air there is shown as blue arrows. And the fuel there is separated into little molecules because it's been atomized, what we call atomized, by the air rushing in through to the engine. So it's nicely separated the fuel there so it's ready to be burnt in the engine for combustion. Now if these mixture screws were screwed too far in and they were restricting too much of the fuel, therefore supplying too little fuel from the high and low jets here, then of course the obvious effects of that is too little fuel coming into the inlet area here. And now we're left with an insufficient air to fuel mixture ratio. The main jet itself is still open and it's allowing some fuel to come through, but it wouldn't be enough to allow the engine to run at full speed. So this could be a classic example where an engine would run at low or idling speed, but as soon as we pull the throttle, it does the bog down there, oh, because we haven't got enough fuel there to support high revving engine, but we could support a low revving engine possibly. Of course, I'm only speaking in general terms here to explain my point. There could be some variations, but in general, that's the way it is. So what we need is correct mixture settings to allow a good air to fuel mixture and plenty of atomized fuel there in the inlet so it can go through into the engine for decent combustion. So if my mixture screws are all OK, the second thing I'd check if my engine was still bogging down is, believe it or not, my fuel tank. And that's in my next video. So please go and check it out. And thank you for watching.